And as 10 TV's Kristen Hartman shows us right now, there's a brighter future in South Columbus. This home of hope is about helping someone achieve the dream of home ownership, but it is also about building up a neighborhood. I'm like a kid in a candy store. I'm so excited. Yeah. I just can't wait. We're and, ready. And your candy is a sander. <laughs> yeah, we've been sanding walls today. Homeowner to be Christine Travis worked the walls inside. And outside, volunteers rolled sod in the rain. Muddy but necessary work to get this home on 18th Street near Livingston ready for its Monday debut. When you look at this house, what does it represent to you? Well, it's a reinvestment in my community. The president of the Columbus Historical Society, Doug Motes, lives just a few blocks from the home of Hope, and he's studied up on the neighborhood's past. He showed us who lived at the build site at the turn of the last century. The head of the household was the head custodian at the Livingston Avenue School. And he says the house sits on land once called Swain's Addition because Lincoln-era Supreme Court Justice Noah Swain owned it. Over the years, the area has seen some tougher times. Now, it's a neighborhood in transition. Habitat for Humanity Mid-Ohio, Nationwide Children's Hospital, and the City of Columbus are all part of the push to bring new life to the place Christine and her nieces will call home soon. I want to be a part of that, um, keeping the area clean, safe for our children. I think we're at nine houses. This may be the tenth house. We built four on Lockbourne, two on Siebert. Uh, gates, uh, all the streets that are down here in the south end. What you're doing helps the neighborhood where you plant the house. At the Blitz Build, volunteers continue to sow the seeds of what they hope will be future positive growth. We talk about where this neighborhood has been. Yeah. Um, where is it going? I really think that it has nowhere to go but up, especially with all of the partners that are reinvesting their time and talent to make this community a better place. Our big partner on the build today was Dominion Homes. We have a whole new core of volunteers coming in the morning, working toward that dedication. From the Home of Hope, I'm Kristen Hartman, 10TV News.